welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming my very first haul. I'm so excited because I've never filmed a haul for you guys before. So I'm going to be showing you guys a few items that are brand new and I've never used before and I've heard really great reviews on. And then I'm going to show you a couple of items that are my go-to and they're my absolute favorite and I just wanted to restock on them. So let's go ahead and get started. And don't mind me, you guys, I'm really sorry, but I am feeling so crappy. For any of those who follow me on Snap, my Snap fam, um, they've seen the last couple of days I've been getting sick all over again, and I just feel like it comes back every few weeks after I get better. I know that this last time is definitely my fault because I didn't finish all my prescription. Ugh, I hate it because I start feeling really good and I forget all about taking my medicine. And so I think I didn't take like four days worth of my medicine. I'm so upset with myself. So I know that this last time getting sick again is definitely my fault. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I purchased a few items from MAC and then I did purchase a few items from Sephora. So I'm really excited to show you a couple of things that I got from each store. So we'll go ahead and dip into the MAC bag first because these are items that are my go-to and I use them on a daily basis and I was so upset because I ran out on both and I just wanted to show you guys um, some holy grails of mine from that store. So the first item I'm going to show you is the uh, MAC Fix Plus setting spray. This spray is life. You don't only have to use this for just setting your makeup. You can use this for any uh, color pigments, glitters, um, anything you want. You can really use this to uh, deepen and make the eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented. And this is exactly what it looks like. There is a travel kit, like a smaller version of this. That way you're not buying the big one. And then there's this size and it comes with 3.4 ounces. So I spray this on my face before I do my makeup so that my face is a little dewy and then I put my makeup on afterwards. Usually I'll put a serum, a moisturizer, a primer, and then I'll spray this all over, wave it down a little bit, and then I'll apply my foundation. That's if I want my face to look super flawless and I want my makeup to stay all day. And then when I'm done with my makeup, I spray this all over my face so that the makeup stays in place and it doesn't smear, say for example, on any collars of your shirts or anything like that. And then if I ever want to apply um, an eyeshadow and I don't feel like using a concealer, nor do I feel like using an eyeshadow primer, I'll just spray this on my um, brush and then dip it in the eyeshadow and apply it on my eye. And it works perfect. So this is my everyday go-to. I know you guys always see me use the um, Urban Decay setting spray and it's truly because my sister got me a huge jumbo size one for Christmas and I already had one of my own so I like to use the Urban Decay setting spray when I'm filming because usually um, I'll leave it on for a few hours and just take my makeup off and then um, I like to use the MAC setting spray during the weekdays because I work for 8 to 10 hours straight sometimes and I really want that makeup to stay in place all day long. And I have no time at work to put any touch-ups on my face, so this definitely holds it in place. Okay, so that's what I purchased is the MAC Fix Plus. And then the second one, which is only two items for MAC, so it's really not a big deal. The second one is my, oh my god, this is my baby, this is my baby. <laughs> it's the um, MAC Eye Lip Liner in the color Strip Down. Yes, girl, strip me down. So it's so good. It's a, it's a lip pencil, but I like to use it all over the lip. Today I am using it as a lipstick. So this lip liner is amazing. I use it all the time. I feel like the moment I get like halfway through, I go out and buy another one because... Oh, oh. <laughs> because I have to replenish this bad boy. It's just my favorite. It is definitely like more of a brown tint to it. It's like an orange brown tint and it's just beautiful. Those are the two items I purchased at MAC. I'll make sure I list all of this down below in the description bar. Don't you worry, boo. And then I'm going to be showing you guys a few items that I purchased at Sephora. I, okay, listen, I went to Sephora for one thing, okay, and I ended up buying like six, five, so, and they are a little high-end makeup, I usually don't purchase a lot of high-end makeup, I like, I love, actually, my drugstore makeup, 
I love the fact that you can go out and buy a product that is a dupe for a high-end product for half the price. I'm all about that saving life. Um, but a few items I just have heard amazing reviews for and a lot of people are using them and I'm all about trying out new products and if it definitely works better than my drugstore products then I don't mind spending the extra money on it. So um, I went out to Sephora and I purchased, ooh, which one do I start with? <laughs> okay, I will work on the face first. So I purchased a new foundation. <laughs> I def I want to try the Kat Von D foundation. No, is it? Yeah, it's the Kat Von D Locket foundation. I really do want to try that one out. I want to try, there's another one. I think it's the Urban Decay Foundation that I want to give it a go. Um, no, it's Makeup Forever. I want to try the Makeup Forever HD Foundation and the Cap on D Foundation. Let me know down below in the comments section if you guys have a specific high-end foundation that you love and you use it all the time and you think that I would love it. Leave it down below because the current foundation, as you guys know, L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour foundation. <laughs> That's the one that I'm always using. But I've heard really good reviews on this Cover X. FX foundation. You can purchase this at Sephora or online. I personally got one shade too light. I think I'm going to go back and get the N40 instead of the N30. But I purchased this one. It's custom cover drops. So I will take it out of the box. <coughs> it died. So I've heard really good reviews about this foundation. Um, this is exactly what it looks like, which it looks so fancy. It looks like this. It basically is like an actual tube of foundation. So they're little drops like that. Um, and it comes in a bottle. And I personally, I'm not even going to lie, I used all these items today on the makeup that I'm wearing currently right now. And I'm in love with this. I wouldn't say it's my new favorite until I actually try it for a few weeks and see how my face reacts to it. But I want you guys to keep in mind that this is very liquidy. So if you have oily skin like I do, I think it's best if you mix it with a different type of thicker consistency foundation. So for example, since I love my L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation, what I did is I just put it on a little uh, foundation plate and I squirted some out and then I got some of these drops and I dropped half of the drops in there and I mixed the two foundations together and that's what I did to apply my foundation that I'm wearing right now which works amazing um, I feel like the foundation has held all day long I covered up all my imperfections and the cover is I feel like full coverage not medium coverage I feel like it is full coverage so I would definitely suggest this if you had dry skin then you can get away with using this only but if you have oily skin like me then I would suggest you mixing it with a thicker consistency so that your face isn't slip and sliding all day okay next okay, so the next thing I purchased is concealer yes I know finally the only concealer that I'm obsessed with is the MAC Pro Longwear concealer so I went out and I did it ladies and gentlemen I took your advice and took every other beauty guru's advice on YouTube who's obsessed with this concealer and I went out and got the Naked Urban Decay excuse me, the Urban Decay Naked Concealer so I've heard such good reviews about this who always raves about this? oh my gosh, hello Jaclyn Hill so she's my favorite I love Jaclyn Hill um, and she always raves about this concealer so I thought I would give it a go so this is how it looks packaged and all it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. The color that I got is in Light Warm. And I'm not even going to lie, I used it today. <laughs> and I love it. I'm not even kidding, okay? This is like no exaggeration. Love? Love. Okay? These are my favorite Yes, girl, yes. These are my favorite concealers now. Like, yes, okay? So if you are looking for a good concealer, hello, these are the ones you want to go out and get because they're amazing. And now that I'm looking at the different color tones, the um, Urban Decay Concealer is a lot more 
light than my MAC one. My MAC one has like pink undertones and the Urban Decay has yellow. So I'm really surprised that I went with this color. Um, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm more satisfied with the warmer color tones instead of the neutral just because um, I want yellow undertones and not pink for myself. So that's my new favorite concealer. I don't even have to try this out for a few weeks to let you guys know how I feel about that one. Okay, the next product that I purchased is the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've heard great, again, great reviews about this. <clears throat> I'm always real stubborn when it comes to good mascaras because the mascara that I always use is the L'Oreal mascara, which you guys have seen on tons, actually I think every single tutorial I've ever posted is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is drugstore, but it is kind of pricey. I mean, for a drugstore, it's like $9, $10 for a mascara, but it lasts me about three months, so I think it's worth it. But I've heard great reviews on this mascara. I've heard that it doesn't just make your eyelashes appear thick and long, but it also makes them appear, um, I guess I would say like, it makes them look 3D almost. So I thought, why not? I'm never interested on in buying mascaras, but I'll get it this time. And look at the package. Like, this is so cute. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. <coughs> I'm ready. It looks like this. Look how cute. So, oh, I got makeup on it. <laughs> Um, so it looks like this, but the container is like metal, and it does say Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and it is all pink. I love it. The packaging is so beautiful. And then the brush is very thick. It's not thin like my uh, L'Oreal Telescopic is. It's definitely thicker. Um, the only thing I don't care for this mascara, because I have, again, tried all of these already um, today, this morning, I tried all the products. <coughs> so the only thing I'm not crazy about with this mascara is that when you apply it on your eyelashes, there's so much fallout. So, if you have all your whole face done, and like everybody does, mascara is like the last step you do for your eyes. It all comes down and it gives the appearance of like spider web eyelashes. Do you know what I mean? So you have to like do 10 coats of these to make them look beautiful, like thick and long, which I'm not I'm not upset about because I do tons of coats with my L'Oreal Telescopic. But my L'Oreal Telescopic doesn't fall out. When I apply it on my eyelashes, there's no fallout. With this one, there's a lot. But if you get a big fluffy brush and you just wipe it off, it'll come off and no big deal. It won't smear on your face. So just make sure if you do go out and purchase this mascara, which I would purchase this again, um, because it does make my eyelashes look very beautiful and thick when I have falsies on. Um, just make sure you use a big fluffy brush to take out the fallout. But I did like this, I won't lie. I mean, not better than my L'Oreal Telescopic, but I'm impressed. Purchased the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. It works great because I did use it today to um, contour my face. And it looks like this. It's just a black foundation stick. It does come with a lot of product. I'm still twisting and there's still more. There we go. So that's how much it comes with. I went ahead and purchased this in the color Chestnut. I heard that this is a great color to contour your face with. Um, it's not a contour stick. Hi, mi vida. I'm filming right now, my love. Okay. Sounds Gucci. Okay, baby, sounds good. Love you. Love you, bye. It just glides on the skin so smooth. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And the color, I feel like it's not like um, one of those browns that turn gray on your skin. And I don't feel like it has too much orange undertones. I feel like this is the perfect color that you can contour your face with. So this isn't a contour stick. I don't want you guys to get confused. It's a foundation stick. I just purchased this in a darker complexion than I am so that I could use it as a contour stick. But it is foundation stick and the color again is chestnut. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Um, 
I'm glad that I was able to film a quick haul for you guys. I'm really sorry for not being so upbeat and not being definitely as, you know, cheerful and upbeat as I usually am. I'm just super sick and if you only knew how I felt, uh, I just really want to be in sweats and in bed with no makeup on. <laughs> so I'm impressed that I even got up this morning and did my hair and filmed. So I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see a tutorial with using all these products. I know I've heard a lot of um, feedback with you guys wanting to see some more vlogs, so stay tuned for that. I will be vlogging um, sometime soon, hopefully not when I'm sick and kind of congested and not sounding and feeling myself. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I will leave all the products that I mentioned today in this haul down below in the description bar, as I always do for you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys. I did it. I did it. Give that highlight, Selena. Give that highlight. I'm dying. I'm like, dink, and inside I'm like, huh. Uh, like I coughed a trillion times in between every product, but I did it. Yeah. Oh, behave. I gotta go for some good homemade chicken noodle soup.